Clinical Trials for Vaccines Clinical vaccine trials are studies performed in people that aims to evaluate if a vaccine is safe and works. What should you know before choosing to participate in a clinical trial? Clinical trials are designed and conducted by health professionals and researchers and reviewed and approved by an independent ethics committee and the health authority. Before enrolling in a clinical trial, the informed consent process is conducted. And what is informed consent? During the informed consent process, a researcher explains the clinical trial and clarifies anything that is not understood. If after considering all of the information, you decide to participate, then you will have to sign an informed consent form. During the informed consent process, benefits will be explained as well as any possible adverse events. These events could include side effects like headache, fever, or injection site tenderness, etc. Participation in clinical trials is completely voluntary, and if you do decide to start a trial, you can always decide to withdraw without giving any explanation. Several study visits will be scheduled for you if you agree to participate in a trial. These include medical checkups, like blood tests to see how your body reacts to the vaccine. You will also have to give information about your health by telephone and fill in a diary. It is important that you do not forget to report any harm or pain that you might feel during the trial. Your medical and personal information will be kept confidential, private and safe by using a code number instead of your name. What are vaccines? Vaccines are biological products which are given to a large number of people around the world. Vaccines teach the body how to defend itself from virus or bacteria that cause particular diseases. Vaccination is one of the most effective ways to prevent diseases. How can we develop a vaccine? Vaccine development is a long and complex process. It starts with research in the laboratory. Next, tests are conducted in people. Finally, if a vaccine is considered safe and effective enough, it can go to market. This process can take more than 10 years. Although in health emergencies, the process can be sped up to have the vaccine available as quickly as possible. Every vaccine undergoes extensive safety evaluations during the whole trial and even after having gone to market and been distributed. In the laboratory, researchers extract a piece of the germ that the body's immune response can recognize. This recognizable piece is known as an antigen and is used when making vaccines. When a vaccine is first made, it is tested in animals. Once the vaccine has shown that it works in animals, it is considered for testing in humans. Human clinical trials. Human clinical trials are divided into four steps called phases. Each phase has a different goal. Phase 1. The vaccine is studied for the first time on a small group of people, 20 to 80, to evaluate its safety and side effects. Phase 2. If the vaccine seems safe enough from the results from Phase 1, it is then given to a bigger group of people, more than 100, in Phase 2. This helps researchers to study its safety and effectiveness in more detail. Phase 3. Vaccines that are considered safe and effective enough in Phase 2 move into Phase 3. Here, the vaccine is given to thousands of people around the world to confirm how safe and effective the vaccine is in different people. It also helps researchers compare effects to other vaccines that are available or against a placebo. We will explain what a placebo is later on. If everything goes well in Phase 3, researchers will request approval for the vaccine to be available on the market. Phase 4. After its market approval by regulatory organizations, vaccine safety and efficacy are further monitored in the wider community. This involves following any side effects that occur. By monitoring millions of people over a long time, it is possible to detect any side effects that may happen over time. In order to test if a vaccine works, the researchers will compare it with a placebo or another vaccine. Participants are put into a group randomly, and in some trials, neither the participants nor the researchers know who is receiving each treatment. 
What is a placebo? A placebo is something that's given to a patient that has no effect on your body. For example, a saline injection. This is given because sometimes just thinking that you have received the vaccine can lead to some effects, like reporting certain symptoms that you may not otherwise notice. Remember, vaccine development is a long and complex process and can take more than 10 years. The step you are considering taking is really important because by testing this trial vaccine, the research team and scientists can learn if it can be used to benefit other people in the future, improving public health and social welfare. The benefits of the vaccine should always outweigh the risks.